I don't believe this, that newfangled evolution stuff. I don't see how it's possible that a whale and I could have ever been related. Well, you're not in luck because it's my job to convince you. Why in the name of this flat earth would you do that? I'm getting paid. Anyhow, our first evidence is homologous and vestigial structures. Some creatures have parts they don't need. These are called vestigial structures. Okay, why does that matter? They're these blind fish that live in caves. Blind cave tittle fish? Yes, they don't need eyes at all as they li have lived in the endless darkness their entire lives, squirming around in that deadly waltz called life. Um, okay. They have eyes that are completely useless. These are called vestigial structures. Check out the non-existent glossary, kids. Say that again all fancy-like. Still not convinced, eh? Well, some of the fish are starting to be born without these eyes, like this monstrosity of science. Why would they be born with eyes? I think they're dumb. Well, because of evolution. The fact that these eyes exist are because they don't harm the fish nor benefit the fish, so they are not affected by natural selection. So at one point they did need eyes? Of course, and that's how this demonstrates evolution. I'm still not sure. <sighs> I see you'll need some work. That is a whale. Wrong time period. But what if I told you they used to look like schnauzers? What is a schnauzer? Wrong time period again. But anyway, they had very long snouts and lived on land. What the hiddle ho is that? This is Pachycetus, the OG whale. Through bone comparing, we can see many similarities between Pachycetus and other whale ancestors. Like Basilosaurus, one of its time's greatest underwater predators. Ha! If he's so scary, why is he named after a type of herb? Ah, oh, hey, Basil. Ah, ah, Will you please tell Bill here why you are proof of evolution? Stay away, foul beast. Uh, I'm not that bad. Come here, I'll give you a hug. Ah, so, I'm a Basilosaurus. I might look fully aquatic, but take a look at my skeleton as I crawl out of my skin. Oh, God, take me now. I have some high nubs. Look. These used to be legs. Oh my god, it's still talking. I knew it was a demon. Back when I was a Pachycetus, I had big legs for walking. But now, I don't need them. But they don't hurt me either. So, they remain on the fossils you can find in several places. Okay, I'm convinced. Can you please let me go? Are you sure? I can tell you all about my digestive system. Ah. Ten minutes later. Ah. Okay, do you believe in evolution now? Nope. All right, then. It's time to pull out the big guns. Wait, so that demon wasn't the big guns? Nope. The big guns are DNA testing. I understood most of those words, but not in that order. It is what makes up the stuff that makes up our bodies. It tells our body what to do and how to do it. Okay, sounds pretty cool, but how come I've never seen or heard about it? It's too small to see without some crazy gadgets. Okay, but how does this prove evolution because humans share a lot of dna with some crazy stuff did you know that we share 50 percent of our dna with bananas and 99 percent with chimpanzees and 31 percent with yeast why would this be the case if we weren't related i don't know how to argue with this logic you can't i still have one question though well i'm not being paid for overtime so you can ask basil Hey, Basil! Ah, 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 ah. The end.